So when you're on the ladder interface, the way you use the software varies. Um, as we've discussed before, odds are vertical instead of horizontal. But if you look on this column here, you can see that these are all the prices available to back at, and these are all the prices available to lay at. So if we choose a stake, we'll put up here of £10. You can see that stake's replicated across these columns. If I want to back at a price that isn't available, then I go above this part of the ladder on the back side. So these are all of the back prices that are available. We can back from 242 all the way up to 268. We can lay from 268 all the way up to 298. So if I try and back at 294, you can see there's only lay money available there. So if I back at that price, you can just see that £10 appears here. Now the interesting thing about the ladder is this is where your unmatched bets sit. If I bring up the unmatched bets at the bottom here, you can see that you can also see them on here. But also, if we shrink that, you can see that we also see the unmatched bets up here. So a lot of people don't bother using the unmatched bets tab on the ladder. They will undock the ladder by going over here and clicking on the undocking button and make the ladder full screen because it's got everything you need on one screen. And then you can put that if you have multiple monitors on another screen or you can keep it docked within BetAngel. It's entirely up to you. If we want to lay at a price that isn't available, then we would click over here. And then you can see your unmatched bet appears over here. If you want to move an unmatched bet in price, you can move it up here. If we go back to the unmatched bets area for demonstration purposes, you can see I can achieve the same thing on here by moving the price backwards and forwards. So we can use these areas, or these buttons rather, in the unmatched bet area. Uh, but in fact, it's quite simple on the ladder to click on something and drag and drop it and move it around. Very, very simple to use. If we want to place a position at the current price, then we would obviously just click um, down here. So if, for example, I wanted to back at the current price, I would just click where the activity is in the market. Now, all of your bets get matched at the best available price. So if I wanted to get matched at the best available price, clicking anywhere down here, will get me matched at 2.9 or whatever the current back price is. Clicking anywhere over here will get me matched at the best available lay price, which is at 296, 298 at the moment. So you can see there's a number of ways of uh, doing all of that within the ladder. But it's important to note that this is how the ladder behaves if you have the odds display set to normal. If you reverse the ladder, it behaves in a slightly different way. But that's a fundamental way of putting a position into the market if you have the ladder interface up and odds display set to normal.